folks um this is a question on a hot air balloon um let's cut the chase it says um a hot air balloon is rising vertically upwards that's important with a constant speed of 2.5 meters per second now it says when the hot air balloon reaches a certain height we're not told the height what we are told is very important to highlight what we are given. Um, this is this velocity of the hot air balloon. And it's vertically upwards. It's moving vertically upward at a constant speed. What do we mean by the constant speed? The acceleration is zero. It says when the balloon is at a certain height above the ground, the object is accidentally dropped so when it's dropped the initial velocity of that object is dropped but remember the object is already moving at the velocity of the hot air balloon check my other video for the background of this now it says that they're at a certain height so we're not told the height um, where this object was dropped but we are told the velocity of an object is 2.5 meters above the ground now let's continue with the statement. It's very important to read the statement. Now it says figure 2 shows the, ve the velocity time uh, sketch graph where down is positive. We're told that down is positive here. And therefore our 9.8 will be positive here. For the vertical motion of an object from the moment it was dropped. And we forgot to finish the statement. Guys, read the statement, the entire statement. The object reaches a height four seconds later. It reaches the ground four seconds later. So when an object is dropped um, on, an ob on a hot air balloon that is moving vertically upwards. So in that moment, while it's still in the hot air balloon, it's moving at the same velocity of the hot air balloon, which is 2.5 meters per second upward so when it's dropped it will continue with the motion but the velocity decreases decreases and then it reaches um, the maximum height there where the velocity is zero and then it decreases it increases while it's going down remember it's going in the negative direction while it's going up when it's going down it's going to the positive direction remember they chose for us um, the direction that downward is positive. So our graph is going to start below the x-axis. Remember, the object here, while it's moving up, it's moving, its initial velocity of an object is what? Is 2.5. But the 2.5 is what? Is negative because it's going up. So the 2.5 graphically, it's it's p there that means this point it's p and then what is happening while it's moving up towards the maximum height the velocity decreases up until zero here's the velocity that decreases it decreases and reaches point q there so this point is what is q and then what's happening where while it's going down while it's going down, it increases in the positive direction. So this is the positive and this is the negative. It increases in the positive direction till it reaches the what? The ground, which is R. So R is the final velocity. This is the final velocity, R, but we are not told what is that velocity. And then P here, it's the initial velocity. I hope you get that guys um, if you don't get it just rewind the video and watch it again now now if you look at, um, at this velocity time graph this velocity time graph doesn't show um, the motion of the hot air balloon it shows the motion of an object so now if you look at the area under this curve from p to q it's this point from there to there so the area under this curve will show you the the area under this curve it's the displacement from here to here so once you calculated the area using half base times height there you are calculating the displacement from p to q and then also here from 
q to r from q to r that means it's an area under this cavity will tell us about this displacement from q to r so when we calculate the area the our area there it's half base times height that means it's a what it's a displacement from the maximum height to the ground right now let's go to the questions now 3.1 it says define the term projectile when we talk about the projectile we're talking about the object it's an object upon which the only force acting on it is the gravity which is the gravitational force go and look at the exam guideline guys the definition it must be the exam guideline go and check my previous video where i defined the free the free fall and the vertical projectile 3.2 what is the magnitude and direction of the velocity of an object at point p they want this velocity at point P. They want the magnitude and direction. Um, I'll let you think about it. Just pause the video and think about it. So the answer there is, it's the answer for here. It's 2.5 meter per second. What is the direction? Is upwards. Remember, I said it's negative. So the answer is 2.5 meters per second upwards, right? Now let's answer 3.3. 3.3, it says, what is a physical quantity does the gradient of the graph corresponds to? Guys, in my previous video, I talk about this. In the velocity time graph, the gradient there is the what? Is the acceleration. So is the gravitational, it's not just an acceleration, it's a gravitational acceleration. How? Um, the gradient here, change in V, which is Y, over change in time that gives us the acceleration there, right? Okay, let me save the space for the other questions. 3.4 it says what is the significance or the importance of point q on the graph with respect to the motion of the graph um, the significance of point q the object reaches reaches the maximum height at point q it's when it reaches the maximum height 3.4 3.5 in 3.5, they said, um, use graph only, no equations of motion. Guys, if you use the equation of motion here, for example, in 3.5.1, you won't get full marks. Um, I think you get three, three marks, or you get less. Just avoid that, guys. Not unless you do not know the other way, you only know the equation of motion. You can use the equation of motion, but you're not going to get full marks. Try to get full marks. Now it says use the the graph um, only no equation of motion to calculate the velocity of an object when it hits the ground. So we wanted the velocity here at R when it hits the ground. We wanted the velocity here in the graph. We wanted that velocity. How are we going to go about that? It's very important. What is important here is to write your data. What do you have? And based on what you have what are you going to do now when they want that guys it's very important we do have the initial velocity which is negative 2.5 meters per second and we want the final velocity which is there we'll, we'll take this segment it's very important to choose the segment we'll take this segment guys from the today so i have um the, the the initial velocity i wanted the final velocity which is r that's what i'm looking for and i do not have the height right and what else do i have and we were told that the object reaches in the statement reaches the ground four seconds later after it has been thrown so the time is the time is 
is is four seconds right it's four seconds so guys um that's what you have but basically here guys um based on these things that you have they will help you if you're going to use the equation of motion right but here um they want this point in fact in this coordinate you do have what you do have x here which is four but you do not have the y which is r so what you can do you can take two points in this straight line and calculate the gradient because the gradient you do have the gradient here the gradient is acceleration is 9.8 meter per second square so you can use the gradient equation to find this point use this two points this and this and it can also work if you can use this point and that point any point there. so we say the gradient is acceleration um, change in v over change in time so it's going to be acceleration it's a v final minus v initial t final minus t initial right these are going to be my initial what is the point here the point here it's a zero and negative 2.5 here at p and i'll use r um, at point r there so our gradient here it's positive 9.8 if you look at our curve the gradient is positive and the final velocity the final velocity there that's what i want it's v f minus v initial here what is our initial velocity it's negative 2.5 right and we divide by the t final t final there is what is that four it's four and then minus the t initial the t initial here initially it was what zero the time it was zero so you'll do your math so this will be plus 2.5 divided by 4 and there's 9.8 there guys uh, that's math now it's no longer physics it's math what's going on there so if you cross multiply there um you cross multiply you will have vf plus 2.5 is equal to guys let me just go to the final answer i think it's simple to do that um vf will be um 36 when you punch that in the calculator 36.70 meters per second and um, if you look at that question it's five mark question they will need a direction as well so the final velocity it's when it reaches the ground there so it's downwards so the marks you get for substituting that and for substituting everything there um the bottom and the top there and then you get the mark for the magnitude and direction there right um let's go to the final um question the 3.5.2 i love that question is very interesting um it says the height h from which the object it was dropped so this object it was dropped at a certain height as we're told we are not told the height there so guys in this the easy way to do this one to use the area check in my previous check, check in my previous videos i explain how to do this one right so guys as i've mentioned earlier that this area under this curve and this area this area represent from p to q the displacement from p to q and then this area represented the displacement from here from q to r so if you have the 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 the, the, the displacement from q to r and then you minus the distance from p to q you minus this bigger distance minus the small one you will get the height um, let me use another colored pen okay let me erase that let me erase that so you have this curve here like this right so um, this triangle it represents from here to here the displacement from there to there and this triangle is from 
here to here right so if you say this long distance minus this small distance it will give you this the remainder it will be that so now we will say height is equal to so what i'm going to do i'm going to use the triangles we are not allowed to use the equation of motion there so i'll say the area the area of a big triangle right minus the area of a small triangle what do i mean about that so the big triangle is this one and the small triangle is this but the big triangle is represented by uh, this displacement and then the small triangle is represented by that so i'm minusing this from this i will get the height to be right so the formula of a triangle which is the right angle it's half base times height minus half base um, half base times perpendicular height so my base in the big triangle the base is going to be the time let me write it the base is the change in time and the height is the what is the velocity same here the base will be a time and the height will be the velocity now guys it's very important if you use the minus here so mm, if you use minus the no need for signs so what do i mean about no the, the signs if you look at the velocity here which is the height here in the small triangle it's going to be negative but you're going to put it as as positive because you already have a negative there but if you you you, you had positive here you are going to use the negative sign any velocity that is negative there you're going to put it as 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 as, as, as negative so the time in the big triangle it's 0 0.2524 so if you want this time from 0 0.25 to 4 the time there let me erase if you want the time there what are you going to do you have to say the big number minus the small number so it will be 4 minus 0 0.25 and the velocity here the velocity here is the one that we calculated from 0 to the maximum to the to 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 the ground the so the velocity there is the one we just calculated it's 36 comma 70 minus um what is the time in the small triangle the time in the small triangle is that one it's 0 0.25 and the height there is the velocity which is it's 2,5 remember no need for sign because i already have a negative there right so the answer for this if you punch that in the calculator which is is the height in which the object is was dropped from the hot air balloon it's going to be 68 meters 68,69 meters um yes it's 68,69 meters above the ground above the ground so that answer it's four marks no mark for the above the ground and then you get mark for substitution there one mark one mark and then that's already three marks and then you get mark for the formula there